Let us stand. As we, be, as we begin, let us bless ourselves in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O oh Jesus, help us to meditate on the way to Calvary and on the cross. Give us a true understanding of the suffering you accepted and a desire to reproduce in us your attitudes and virtues. Keep in mind, Keep in mind that, that Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ has died for us and is risen from the dead. He is our saving Lord. He is joy for all ages. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. Please kneel. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Why do they condemn Jesus? He sees things differently. He blesses the poor. He is a friend to sinners. He does not respect money and power. He asks everyone to repent and change his ways. He disturbs every, everybody. It is easier to get rid of him than to change ourselves. Let us pray. Lord, convert us. Help us to be at least willing to change our ways. Help us to repent and be converted. Were you there when they sentenced him to die? Were you there when they sentenced him to die? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they sentenced him to die? The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. What is the cross? It is not to be found in any culture. No man looks for it. On the contrary, we do all we can to escape from it. Yet, it is one of the basic, basic values of our faith. If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me. The cross is the sign of a Christian. Let us pray. Lord, we are afraid of the cross. Change our attitude and help us to accept it as you did. Help us to understand that all things work out for good to those who love God. We trust and believe that every single experience in life can help us to become a better person. Lord, we thank you for our crosses. Were you there when he carried up his cross? Were you there when he carried up his cross? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when he carried up his cross? The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. We fail. We fall. We would like to change, but we are comfortable in our ways, and we like them. I am like that, and so we stop repenting. What a difference to our Lord. As soon as he falls down, he gets up again. He does not give up.
Let us pray. Lord, give us light so that we may see ourselves as we really are and see the value we have in your eyes. Give us the courage to go on as soon as we have seen, with your help, what ought to be changed within us. Were you, Were you there, there when, when the, the cross, cross made, made him, him to fall? fall? Were you there when the cross made him to fall? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when the cross made him to fall? The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. There is no greater union than the one between Jesus and his mother. They have different mentalities, and sometimes their thoughts ran on quite different lines, as happened at the marriage of, at Cana, and when Mary found Jesus in the temple. But we know that they are always deeply in love. Let us pray. What an example, Lord, your mother and you give us. Reconciliation is the aim of this season. Jesus, Mary, help us to remain one in mind and to be united by the same spirit in spite of our differences in age, education, social status, culture, race, sex, religion, and the ways in which we think. Were you there yeah, when, when the mother the met, met her, her son? son? Were you there when the mother met her son? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when the mother met her son? The fifth station. Simon helps Jesus to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Cooperation is also one of the basic Christian values. Christ makes the way of the cross for us. Simon helps him along the way. Do we cooperate with him as Simon did? Do we really do our share in bringing salvation to people around us? Let us pray. Lord, help us to see you in the many people around us, especially in the poor, the hungry, the sick, and the prison. Give us compassion that we may reach out to them, for we realize that whatever we do to the least of our brothers, we do it to you. Were you there when Simon, Simon took, took the, the cross? cross? Were you there when Simon took the cross? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when Simon took the cross? The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Veronica is a woman who goes out of her way to show sympathy to one who is sentenced to death. It may be that, that there are people around us who are rejected, hopeless, drunkards, drug addicts, beggars, and to us, as to most people, they are labelled, already sentenced and condemned. Shall we, during this Lent, go out of our way to do something for them.
Let us pray. Lord, it is not easy to go against the tide. Yet it could be that some of those we consider as hopeless cases are victims of prejudice and bad backgrounds. Give us the courage to accept and to love them. Were you, Were you there, there when, when she wiped his bruised face? Were you there when she wiped his bruised face? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when she wiped his bruised face? The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. We follow the crowd and accept popular prejudice unthinkingly. We are bound hand and foot by this and by our self-centeredness. And so we refuse to, take and take, to try and take on ourselves the mind of Jesus Christ. And as a result, hobble along, stumbling over the chains which bind us. Let us pray. By the humiliation of your second fall, open our eyes and give us the sense of sin. Make us understand all that is not of you or of your spirit in our attitude to all that happens to us in our daily lives. Take away our blindness and self-righteousness that we may repent and accept the gospel. Were you there when he fell a second time? Were you there when he fell a second time? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when he fell a second time? The eighth station, Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. To weep may be a sign of repentance. We weep because we fail to be reconciled with our neighbour. But weeping is of no value if we only weep through self-pity and without doing anything to improve ourselves. Let us pray. Lord, once again we pray to you that we may not weep and remain passive simply because things are not the way we would like them to be. Give us the courage to repent, to change, to take our share in building up your kingdom. Were you there, Were you there when, when the women, the women wept, wept for him? him? Were you there when the women wept for him? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when the women wept for him? The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. If, some, some, if somebody fails us once, we may excuse him. If he fails us the second time, we become impatient. But if he fails us the third time, we are likely to wash our hands of him. He can't be relied on, we say. Yet, when we ourselves let someone down, it is very different. We always seem to have good reasons. Our health, our cultural background, our surroundings can explain and excuse everything.
Let us pray. Lord, through this meditation on your third fall, help us to be patient with others. Help us not to be judgmental. Help us to forgive. For our faults, help us not to be so ready to find excuses for them, but to examine ourselves and to change when needed. Were you, Were you there, there when, when he stumbled, stumbled once, once again? again? Were you there when he stumbled once again? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when he stumbled once again? The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We put our trust in the things which we can see and touch, and only afterwards in God. We want to feel safe and protected, and so we cling to our possessions. We rely more on a solid bank account and on knowing the right people than we do on God. Yet you, Lord, allow yourself to be stripped of everything, so that we may see that it does not profit a man if he should gain the whole world and yet loses his life. Let us pray. Lord, help us to know and love what is essential for building up of your kingdom and teach us to rid ourselves of all that does not lead to you and your kingdom. Were you, Were you there, there when, when they stripped, stripped him of his robes? robes? Were you there when they stripped him of his robes? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they stripped him of his robes? The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus has walked through the land doing good, announcing the kingdom, forgiving sins, and curing the sick. Those days of activity are behind him now. On the cross, he can move neither hand nor foot. Yet it is now above all that he is perfecting the work of reconciling men with God and with one another. Let us pray. Lord, when we suffer and can do little or nothing for ourselves and for others, may we remember that we are hanging with you on the cross, sharing in your power of making all men one with the Father and each other through our prayer. Were you, Were you there, there when, when they, they nailed, nailed him, him to, to the, the cross? cross? Were you there when they nailed him to the cross? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they nailed him to the cross? The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Unless the grain of wheat is buried in the earth, it will remain a single grain. But if it falls and dies, then it bears much fruit. We must die to our pride, selfishness, sloth, lust, 
greed, jealousy, and anger. Then we can rise to a new life of peace, joy, and love. Let us pray. Lord, we are alive, but we are not living because we have allowed sin to con take control of us. Help us to die to our sinful self, that we may live true life in you. Were you there when he died upon the cross? Were you there when he died upon the cross? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when he died upon the cross? Just the thin station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The struggle, the suffering, is over for Jesus. He is beyond the reach of his enemies and their power to inflict pain. But his enemies who are still living are not at peace because they have spilled innocent blood. And they too must leave this world sooner or later and go to God. They will not be at peace until they are reconciled with him. Let us pray. Lord, you are at peace because you had that greatest love of all. You gave up everything, including your own life, for your brothers and sisters. May we understand that we can only share in your peace and bring your peace to the world if we set aside selfishness and learn to love as you love. Were you there when they laid him in her arms? Were you there when they laid him in her arms? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they laid him in her arms? The 14th station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The enemies of Jesus appeared to have won. Jesus is laid in the tomb. His friends are hiding, afraid they will be arrested. But this victory is a victory only in appearance. God has a surprise in store for the enemies and for the friends of Jesus. On the third day, Jesus is raised from the dead. Let us pray. Lord, we like to be what seems to be the winning side. It may seem more important for us to be well-to-do, popular and influential than to be faithful to you and to your commandment. But the only victory is the one which survives death, the victory that only you can give to us. Lord, grant us this final victory. Were you, Were you there, there when, when they, they laid, laid him, him in, in the, the tomb? tomb? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? If you are risen with Christ, look for the things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Meditate on the things above, not the things of earth. For you have died, 
and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. Lord, together with our fellow men, we are journeying towards our home in heaven. Help us to remain faithful to you always and to recognize you in our brothers on earth so that we may all reach you in your glory beyond death. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May he defend you from all evils and bring you to life eternal. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Please be seated. We will begin our Eucharistic celebration shortly. <laughs> 